Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Today, we're starting up the fifth chapter. Oh, what's going on with Kevin? Oh, Ein Selnit, the first Dominion. Huh, what's going on? Oh, why is he so depressed? He's kind of like a gothy kid growing up. He was like, I was like, woe is me, it seems. Oh. 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 Yeah, uh, I'd be depressed too. Sorry I said anything about you, Kevin. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, there's always Reese. I mean, Rufina's dead. And you joined here, I guess, to be Rufina. I'm gonna imagine that, you know, he was in love with Rufina. Or at least, you know, he loved her as a sister. But the way that he's going on now, maybe more so. I don't know. Yeah, no kidding. Um, she's not gonna kill you. She's your instructor. She's your teacher. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, well, what's that? Oh. <laughs> She's like, uh, I didn't want to give you this information, but you're fucking pathetic, and you suck, so, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and give it to you. Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, Fifth Dominion. Whoa, holy crap. Huh. Well, maybe, uh, she wanted to do this to cheer him up? Although he doesn't look too happy about it. Oh. Oh, really? Several decades? Huh, you don't say. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Well, you're the first Dominion, he's the fifth Dominion. I, unless all the Dominions are equal, she just happens to have the title of first Dominion? I don't know. Something tells me that the first Dominion is, you know, better than the fifth, I would imagine. But correct me if I'm wrong. Who knows? I probably am. I'm wrong all the time. <laughs> yeah, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. Oh, Carnelia. Yeah, like those books. Huh. Yeah, and again, I, I read over the Carnelia books in um, the Cold Steel games where they, you know, popped up, for the, for, you know, where I saw them for the first time. Um, and they're here in this game as well. I'm going to have those books during the, like, very end of the series. It's like bonus episodes and all that. Oh, huh. Yeah, you know, I guess you have to have a stigma to be able to, uh, become a Dominion. Oh, okay. Well, at least he is trusting you. Why are you laughing? What do you mean? Um, what is? Whoa. Is he going mad? Oh. Um, wouldn't you think that she became a knight? You know, she was a knight for like five-something years before you ever became a knight. And she was so much older than you and more experienced that she would be kind of protecting you. Maybe that is how she died. We don't really know. They just said like an unfortunate accident. Unless later on in the game we get more information as far as, you know, ha what the accident was or what actually happened to, you know, kill her. Oh. Oh, yeah. But, you know, you are able to if you don't want to do it, if it's too much for you. Oh, okay, so you are going to do it. Okay. Oh. Well, he went from suicidal to throwing himself into the work. Oh. Or he wants the work to actually kill him. Hmm, maybe that's why he wants the hard stuff. Heretic Hunter. Huh. That's what he called Weissman. He called him a heretic before he killed him. He's also going around... All, all these, like, 77 devils that we see and everything, he's going around calling them heretics, too. Shadows and light. Huh. And the Lord of Phantasma was talking about, um... Like, the chessboard and all this, and the black and the white pieces and all that, so I'm sure that has to do with, you know, the shadows and the light and all that stuff, too. Oh, yeah. That's right, we got a stone last time, and Kevin, like, collapsed because he summoned his stigma to save Reese, which I guess overwhelmed his body, I'm going to assume. Oh, well, yeah. I guess the criterion being, you know, 
we were actually joined in the party when first and second chapter, so yeah. Oh yeah, that is a good question. Oh, that's a good question too, although I kind of think that I already know the answer to that. That's a pretty good question too. Yeah, no kidding. Huh. So you are pretty smart, Oliver. Who knew? Oh, yeah. What's up with all these fiends? Yeah, totally. Um, he was saving you guys? Well, that's true. She wasn't one of those uh, ceiling stones, so she didn't exactly see Kevin save her. I'm gonna imagine it was a stigma. Oh, yeah. Um, don't you guys already know that it was a stigma? I mean, that is what the Lord of Phantasma said. And didn't Reese say it too? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, at least Joshua could put two and two together. Oh, that's right. Yeah, back in second chapter, whenever he was being controlled by Weissman. Huh. So maybe he was able to somehow, like, do a mind control thing using Weissman's stigma and he projected it onto Joshua or something? Some sort of control mechanism or something? Oh. Oh! Hey, Reese. What's going on? Is Kevin alright? You okay? Oh, well, that's good, at least. Oh. Oh. Okay. No kidding. Oh, okay, yeah, so it was a stigma. Although I'm kind of pretty sure we already knew that, or at least I knew it, you know, whatever, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Well, I would imagine that, you know, the Prince of Erebonia would know a lot of, like, special secret information that, you know, regular normal people wouldn't know, so it's not all that surprising that Oliver knows what a Dominion is. Maybe there's something similar over in Erebonia as well. Who knows? Oh. Yeah. I kind of already thought that we knew that, too. I guess not. Huh. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of confusing to me keeping straight what the player knows versus what your characters know. Because as the player, we're told certain things, and then your characters are told certain things at other times, and I guess the player has known that he's the Dominion, whereas these characters, except for Reese, of course, haven't known that he was the Fifth Dominion. Oh. Huh, yeah, that is kind of strange. Oh, so that's how you guys were able to, like, break it and everything, and, uh, you know, break his control and all that. Oh, yeah, well, we learned about that uh, in that salt pail door that we did. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, huh. I wonder if that superhuman that he wanted to create was either himself or, you know, Joshua. Maybe it had something to do with putting that stigma on Joshua and controlling him and, you know, putting power into him to make him to be a superhuman. Oh, well, maybe it was just too much for him. You know, Kevin did say that he doesn't like to use it, or he didn't want to use it, or, he, uh, you know, he was trying not to use it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Huh, kind of like Weissman, yeah. Pretty much agate. Now I'm going to also guess that he used the power of his stigma way back when in the Lusitania in order to bust down that door um, and that safe and everything. Oh, yeah, probably. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, okay, so last chapter we didn't have Reese, and this chapter looks like we don't have Kevin. So just kind of switch around. I wonder who the, her who her little backup's going to be like. You know, Joshua kind of took Reese's place last chapter. I wonder who's going to kind of take Kevin's place this chapter. Although I have an idea. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for your help. Pretty good party member, and I need to get your levels up too. 
Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, sure. What's up? Oh, uh, yeah. So, you know, Joshua kind of took Reese's place last time, so now Estelle is going to be taking Kevin's place. It's kind of fitting, you know. The heroes from first and second chapter kind of going in and getting their time in the sun as it is. No, of course not. And you have that true hurricane ability. It's so good! Oh, yeah, no problem at all. Oh, hey. Well, yeah. Such a nice supportive boyfriend, Joshua. So sweet. Okay, so as far as my party is concerned, for right now, I'm just going to throw Joshua in and Tita in. I know they're not my lowest level people, but I'll fix it up later. And also at this time, we can um, go around and talk to everybody and get um, new dialogue options and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be doing that during the end slate. But first, I want to head over here and uh, see what's going on. See if we can't head on off to the uh, fifth layer. Oh, yeah, it is rather strange, isn't it? Especially since that um, scenery, you know, went away. I guess it was an illusion, and now that illusion's gone, it's been peeled away. Oh, yeah. It's like a game night gone bad! It's awful! Actually, I have game nights all the time uh, with my friends. We, um, we normally kind of alternate houses, and um, we'll play Siddalus of Catan, we'll play Munchkins, uh, we'll play Secret Hitler, we'll play um, just like... Um, all sorts, just massive, massive, massive varieties of various board games um, in a group of about, I don't know, six or eight people. It's a lot of fun. We'll do it on like a Friday, Saturday night or like a Sunday afternoon-ish thing. So, yeah. We never really play anything normal like Monopoly or Scrabble or Clue. It's more of these like newfangled board, board games or, you know, like, a, I don't know, Cards Against Humanity or something like that. Which, I mean, it's fun, but I'm kind of over Cards Against Humanity. I'd rather play Munchkins, or The Secret Hitler is actually really a lot of fun. But, yeah. Okay, so, back to the game. Let's see what these people are actually talking about, as I'm just going on about <laughs> board games. Oh, okay. Um, you're his squire, so we're helping you out? Yeah, no kidding. And you're kind of like his sister? Or like adoptive sister, I guess. Yeah, uh, of course. So, what's the deal, Reese? Oh. Well, you guys were like raised together and everything. Even though, as a child, you called him a loser and everything. You were kind of a bitch to him, but... Now she seems pretty nice. Yeah, not at all. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, <laughs> some old guy. <laughs> I love Estelle. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. You can kind of um. Read his mind, you know? You, you know what he's thinking, you know what he wants to say, you know what he wants to do. So of course there's a bond between you two. Oh, well, yeah. Huh, no problem. Oh, well, what's that? Okay, shoot. Yeah, definitely. Too soft? Um, I don't think that she's all that soft. I mean... She's a kind, caring girl, but, uh, you know, speak softly and carry a large stick, as they say. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Estelle's like, uh, enough talking. I've gotten to know you. All right, I'm gonna go now. Um, I really don't want to, you know, reveal my innermost feelings to you since I just now met you. This looks like a little self-contained mazy area. Yeah, kind of like the Golden and Silver Roads and the Jade Corridor and all that. Ooh, there's a little door over there to the right. Looks like, oh, the Luminous Labyrinth. Huh. 
Okay, lots of treasure around and teleporters and all sorts of pain in the ass sort of things. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, what is it? Oh, no! Is it... MONSTERS! Yikes! Just like in, like, every single other one of these things that we get to, just monsters just come out of nowhere and attack us! Whoa! Or they can fall from the ceiling, too. Oh, how do you know this? Like an encyclopedia or something? I mean, come on! Okay, let's do it to it! Kick some ass! Nice! Okay, so let's see, with Tita, we'll use a uh, smoke cannon. Uh, that way I can get both of those guys down there into it. BAM! Yeah! Love me some Tita! Ooh, hey. Okay, Joshua, I'm gonna have you use a uh, Supreme Dual Strike on this guy since he has more HP than those little dream spiders down there. Oh! Nice! One shot at that asshole! And these losers can't even get to you, so yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. You can't even do a craft or anything, because you don't have any CP. Really, Estelle? I thought better of you. Come on now. Really, Reese? Seriously. <laughs> okay, well that's fine. I'm sure Tita could probably take up the uh, other one. She's pretty damn strong. Well, nope, don't need to use that. So, there we are. BAM! Yeah. Well, pretty nice. Pretty simple. Sure did. Ooh, lots of experience, too. Oh, that wasn't so hard. Really? It just took one really easy battle for you to be bushed? You need to go back into training. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Actually, if they did get a hit on you, they would drain your CP. So... Eh, they didn't get a chance to hit me, so I didn't feel it's necessary to talk about it, but pretty much that's the little gist of the enemies in here. They drain your CP, or they or they will also drain your EP. Um, kind of a pain, but nothing too terrible. Let's go over here, and uh, let's see, we can do some shopping! Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a ceremonial, a ceremonial sword, and a rod for Estelle that'll really raise up her attack power. And then I'll be buying um, new weapons and stuff for people as they put them into my party. But if they're not going to join me like permanently in here, I'm not going to buy them a weapon. But there's some pretty good stuff in here. Subaru, like the car, seriously, that's kind of odd. Also, as far as synthesizing quartzes are concerned, at this point you're pretty much going to want to have everybody at two slots. For like, um, two, um, what is it, like the raising the slot to level 2 if you can, but I don't have a lot of fire cords, that kind of sucks. Looks like everybody is pretty much there. Um, I need to upgrade Reese, but I wasn't able to uh, last time. Also, if you want to, you can purchase the uh, Topaz gem, which is like the level 5 defense. There's also the Ruby gem, which is like the attack level 5. Um, you know, some other cool stuff in here. We don't get an action level 5, unfortunately, but if you do do that, you're going to have to upgrade your slots to level 3, like with this wind gem, the ruby gem, you know, these other gems that are there, the water gem, whatever. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it takes a lot of quartz to do that, and I don't really have all that much quartz in order to do that, but yeah. So what I'm going to do um, during the end slate today is go around and talk to everybody, and next time... We have a couple of doors that we can do now that Estelle has joined us. One about fishing, and one with a story between Estelle and Joshua. Which one will I choose? Find out next time. Let's play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.
Thank you.